Welcome to my channel. It's Jovi Q again, and today we'll be talking about yogurt. Not necessarily talking about yogurt. We're going to be making a yogurt today. But there's always been this, um, I don't know if it's a theory or a, a mode of operation or something. I don't know what to call it, but before you can get a particular yogurt done, you need a bioactive yogurt, which has the required bacteria to culture another milk into being a yogurt and i'm like how exactly did the first yogurt ever come about and you're like or rather the the, the so-called theory or mode of operation is more like you need another bioactive yogurt to get another one done and how did the first one ever come into being so it has always been a confusion over and again but this time i have cracked it or somebody cracked it or i have looked into the crack of someone else the indians have this method of making yogurt and it is yogurt <sighs> finally so we're going to be using the indian method to get the yogurt done the word yogurt comes from turkey and you know the turkish are uh, quite close to the greeks and the greek all the people of greece have a special way of doing their yogurt by draining the excess whey out of the yogurt. The yogurt's whey is drained and it makes it thick. So in being thick, it turns out to be given the name Greek yogurt. So what's the whole thing all about? Get your yogurt done, make it as thick as possible, drain the excess of it, put it in your refrigerator and you have your Greek yogurt. So, Left to me, it should even be called Indian yogurt. Even the Turkish people are so into the dairy thing as much as the Indians. So, so Greeks or Greek, <laughs> everything has been cracked. So, shall we go to my kitchen and let's see how it goes. So, to get this done, I'm using pick milk, full cream, usually pasteurized. You can get it in the store for less than 600 naira. So on a very low heat, I'm um, using um, a cup of milk. So even though it's on a low heat, we have to keep stirring to prevent it from cutting down there. When I mean cutting, I mean having solid milk that are clogged together. We don't want to have that in our recipe. And we have to ensure it is hot, very hot, so as to kill some microbes that may have been, that the milk may have been exposed to when it was packed. So we can't trust the milk 100% to be pure. Yeah, I'm making a pot of stew on Sunday, but prevents your milk from having any external ingredients like the oil from the stew. So it's on low heat and it's, it's safe. So the table is set. To get my yogurt done, I need to make a starter first. So my milk is ready, brought down to the required temperature. And I have a red banana pepper and a habanero pepper. This is what I was able to get. This recipe actually requires a chili pepper. But this is, this is what I have. I have to try. So it's not cast on concrete. Wherever you are, you can try what you have and see if it works for you. So I have to separate this since I'm making a trial, as we shall be holding all the pepper. What we actually need in the pepper is a stalk, because the stalk contains the enzyme that brings the milk to the point of fermentation. Mind you, my milk is still warm, so don't let it get cold. So I'm using both green and a red habanero pepper. 
And for my fake chili pepper, I will just use the stalk since that's what I need. And it's so large, you can't even uh, stay in the container comfortably. So let me just use the stalk and see if I can get something out of it. So we have to put aside for a few hours, say about 12 hours in a warm place. But before that, we have to cover it up. It's either you cover it up with a film or you cover it up with a plate, however it is you want to cover it up. Whenever you want to keep it for incubation, it has to be in a warm place so that the enzymes can react with the milk and give you what you want. During temperate weather, you can get the best results, but when the weather is cold, like during the dry, the rainy season, you might have a problem. See, my fake pepper <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> so I had to put the other habanero pepper to get this result. It's still fresh. You see the stalk? It wasn't even dying. So this is why I got out of it. Yeah. And this, I got a better result out of this. Your pepper is still fresh. You can still use your pepper to cook and do whatever it is you want to use it for. So all you need to do is just wash it and take it back. So this is my starter. It took a while to get this done. It took more than 12 hours because it rained and the incubation took a while so the rest of my pig milk goes back into the pot for boiling now we are ready to make the yogurt so this is my milk and it's still warm if you can check very well you see the evaporation is still warm so i have to leave it for a little while so now that my milk is warm, I need a mug and a flask. If you have a casserole, it'll be just fine. I'm actually using this mug because I don't want any acidity, so I'm using a little. We're covering that with the film. So to, to check your the required temperature without the thermometer, you have to dip your little finger into the milk if it's warm enough and it stinks but doesn't hurt then it's just fine This is the starter with the stock from the red banana pepper. I'll be trying that first in the small mug. Just a spoon is okay since the quantity of milk is quite small. So we cover with a film and put aside. And here is my trusted starter. Now we put in two spoons of this. Ensure not to scatter it. Just put it in the center. Even if you want to disturb it a little, you just stay a little. So as it is, I didn't even touch it. There are microbes there that need to react, so we don't want to disturb them. This we put aside in a warm place for seven hours. And then we have our product. This starter can be used to make more yogurts. So it's not a waste. You can refrigerate it for as long as two weeks. It can make more yogurts. So if you want to make a bigger quantity, you can use the starter. Mind you, the existing yogurts can make like three or four and several generations of yogurts. The more the generations, the better. 
And here it is. Our bioactive yogurt is ready to be eaten. Wouldn't you like to give it a trial? Send your comments. Bye. Hello. I hope the video helped. I do videos on lifestyle, home remedies, and food hacks, especially spending less to get a lot out of food. So if you're yet to be buddies, you're yet to be pals, and you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button down there and hit the notification bell so you get more videos as I post them. So join the bandwagon. See you later. Bye.